Brought to you by wikivd.com Stoke Park, Buckinghamshire Stoke Park is a private sporting and leisure estate in Stoke Poges, Buckinghamshire. The mansion building is located in the middle of 300 acre of Parkland Lakes Gardens and Monuments. In 1908 it became the first country club and hotel in the UK. In 2013, it was awarded five Red AA stars the highest accolade for service and facilities for hotels. By the Automobile Association, Stoke Park has served as the filming location for several major films including James Bond's Goldfinger and Tomorrow Never Dies, Bridget Jonas' Diary and Layer Cake. It also hosts the annual Boodles Tennis Championships as a warm-up to Wimbledon a week prior to the championships. In June 2014 Stoke Park hosted an outdoor charity concert for sports ed. Sir Elton John sang to 5,000 people and raised £825,000. The Estate the Stoke Park Estates history dates back to the time of the Doomsday Book. From 1066, the estate was inherited in a direct line of descent for 515 years until it had to be sold to the Crown in 1581 to pay the outstanding debts of Henry Hastings, 3rd Earl of Huntingdon, whose father Francis the Commander-in-Chief of Henry VIII's army had rebuilt the manor house in 1555. John Penn, a soldier, scholar and poet, is responsible for most of what can be seen at the estate today. He used a large proportion of the £130,000 the new United States government paid for his family's 26 million acre plot in Pennsylvania. The mansion was designed by James Wyatt who worked on the development of the mansion and surrounding monuments from 1790 to 1813. The parkland was the product of two geniuses of 18th century landscape architecture, Lancelot Capability Brown and Humphrey Repton, who designed in 1792 the landscape that can be seen today. The estate is listed Grade II on the Register of Historic Parks and Gardens. The club The estate was used as a private residence until 1908 when Nick Parlane Jackson, founder of the Corinthian Sporting Club, purchased the estate and turned it into the UK's first country club. One of his initial objectives was to commission the famous amateur golfer and course architect Harry Colt to design the golf course, the golf course along with the tennis courts, and the conversion of the mansion were all completed within seven months. In 1908, the club's first president was His Highness Prince Albert of Schleswig-Holstein, and first vice president was the Right Honourable Earl Howe. The committee also included Lord Chesterfield, Lord Kinnall and Lord Decies. In his 1910 book, The Golf Courses of the British Isles, Bernard Darwin wrote, Stoke Park is a beautiful estate, and there is very good golf to be played there. There are plenty of things to do besides playing golf. We may get very hot at lawn tennis or keep comparatively cool at bowls or croquet a coolest of all we may sit on the terrace or in the garden and give ourselves wholly and solely to loafing. The clubhouse is a gorgeous palace, a dazzling vision of white stone, of steps and terraces and cupolas with a lake in front and imposing trees in every direction. The Mansion the main building is a Georgian-era mansion located at the centre of the 300-acre of Parkland. The architecture of the United States Capitol Washington, D.C., which was built later, bears some resemblance to the mansion. The Pavilion Opened in 2008, the Pavilion building has a health and beauty spa, swimming pool, fitness studio, gym and bedrooms and suites on the first and second floors. Golf Stoke Park's 27-hole championship golf course was designed by Harry Colt in 1908. 
It was opened in July 1909 and received immediate acclaim, if there were no palatial clubhouse and no beautiful gardens and grounds. The course itself would take a great deal of beating anywhere within 30 miles of London. Colt, to whom belongs the credit of designing it has scored a great success, and his reputation as a green architect already high will be greatly enhanced by this the latest of his works. Golf Illustrated 1909 Stoke Park is considered one of the top 100 courses in England. The Boodles Tennis Challenge Stoke Park is the host of the annual Boodles Challenge hosted the week prior to the championships at Wimbledon. Playing on Stoke Park's grass courts, the world's best men have competed for the Boodles Trophy since 2002. Movies at Stoke Park Stoke Park has been the backdrop to many movies and TV programs. Two James Bond films, Goldfinger and Tomorrow Never Dies have been filmed at the club. The epic duel between Bond and Goldfinger led to Sean Connery's own lifelong love affair with golf. The mini break and rowing scenes from Bridget Jonas' diary were filmed in the Mansion Lakes and the Pennsylvania Suite. In 2004 three movies were released featuring Stoke Park, Wimbledon, Bride. Stoke Park featured heavily in Layer Cake including the dramatic ending with Daniel Craig and Sienna Miller filmed on the mansion steps. Guy Ritchie's Rock and Roller also featured the grass tennis courts and the 21st Green. Other features filmed at Stoke Park include The Vice, The Professionals, Midsummer Murders, Dead of Night and many advertisements. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?